solids differ from the other states of matter in that they have long range order to achieve long range order all the constituent particles need to be arranged in a symmetrical pattern in three dimensions we will extend our knowledge of close packing in two dimensions to build symmetrical patterns in three dimensions let's first study three dimensional close packing from two dimensional square close packing in order to build a three dimensional structure it is easier to stack two dimensional square close packed planes one above the other as you can see the spheres are aligned horizontally as well as vertically if the arrangement of spheres in the first layer is considered to be of a type then the arrangement of spheres in the subsequent layers is also of a type this three dimensional arrangement is referred to as a a a type packing if you look carefully you will find that this arrangement has resulted in the formation of a simple cubic lattice the unit cell of this lattice is a primitive cubic unit cell another way to build a three dimensional close packing is from a two dimensional hexagonal close packing as you can see the depressions of the first layer are the ideal seats for the next layer of spheres by placing the constituent particles or the spheres in the depressions of the first layer a second plane of closed packed spheres lying on the first plane is generated it is important to note that when the spheres are placed on the voids of b type in the first layer the c type voids are left unoccupied as no sphere can be placed in them as the spheres of the two layers are aligned differently let the arrangement of spheres in the first layer be referred to as a type and in the second layer as b type a closer look at the arrangement indicates the formation of two different kinds of voids marked as o and t If you look carefully you will find that this arrangement has resulted in the formation of a simple cubic lattice the unit cell of this lattice is a primitive cubic unit cell another way to build a three dimensional close packing is from a two dimensional hexagonal close packing as you can see the depressions of the first layer are the ideal seats for the next layer of spheres by placing the constituent particles or the spheres in the depressions of the first layer a second plane of closed packed spheres lying on the first plane is generated it is important to note that when the spheres are placed on the voids of b type in the first layer the c type voids are left unoccupied as no sphere can be placed in them as the spheres of the two layers are aligned differently let the arrangement of spheres in the first layer be referred to as a type and in the second layer as b type a closer look at the arrangement indicates the formation of two different kinds of voids marked as o and t it is also called cubic close packing ccp or face centered close packing fcc metals like iron
copper and silver crystallize in CCP structures. Further, as can be seen in hexagonal close packing and cubic close packing, a sphere has the coordination number 12. It is in contact with six spheres in its own layer, three more in the layer above, and three more in the layer below. Also, both the forms hexagonal close packing and cubic close packing are equally efficient in terms of filling up space. In both of them, 74% of the space in the crystal is filled up. Let us now look at the number of tetrahedral and octahedral voids present in these arrangements. In a close-packed structure, whether CCP or HCP, if there are n spheres in the packing per unit cell, then the number of octahedral voids is the same as n, while the number of tetrahedral voids is equal to 2n. For example, in a CCP arrangement, if four atoms or ions are present per unit cell, then the number of octahedral voids is also 4, while the number of tetrahedral voids is 8. 